closer home. It is emerging tonight. That the country's economy has been ravaged by pending bills and the ballooning public debt. In a forecast report, the Controller of Budget has warned that pending bills have crippled businesses, reduced government revenue streams in delayed tax submissions whose net effect is a struggling economy in dire need of cash flow to service its growing public debt. Samogina now details part of the Controller of Budget's report. The control of budget painted a grim picture of the country's economy wrapped in debt and with businesses struggling due to government's non-payments to its suppliers. The report for the financial year ending June of 2022 indicates government owed contractors and suppliers a whopping 49.24 billion shillings. The State Department for Public Service, the National Youth Service, the biggest culprit, holding back 14.58 billion shillings from its suppliers. Followed by the State Department for Crop Development, under the Ministry of Agriculture, that is yet to pay up 10 billion shillings. Ministry of Transport has a pending bill of 6 billion shillings, while the Nairobi Metropolitan Services, NMS, under the office of the President, has not paid up 3 billion shillings, despite being wound up at the end of President Uhuru Kenyatta's administration. The Defence Ministry has a balance of 1.76 billion shillings. Others include State Department for Regional and Northern Corridor Development, State Department for Wildlife and the Electoral Commission, IEBC, yet to reimburse businesses that have supplied them. The control of budget has warned that the trend is not only crippling business entities in the country, but also government due to delayed tax submissions. And as such, to inject cash flow back into the country's economy, the control of budget has recommended for the settling of the pending bills as the first charge in the 2022-2023 financial year. President William Ruto, in his inaugural speech, taking cognizance of the pending bills burden, committed to settling the bills to give businesses a lifeline. We are living beyond our means. This situation must be corrected. I am aware that many individuals, families and their businesses have been driven to ruin and forced to shut down over government and paid bills. Meanwhile, the country's public debt stands at 8.45 trillion shillings, with the bulk of it being external debt. The ballooned public debt over the years attributed to plaguing of the country's budget deficits. Translation, the country has been borrowing more so foreign debt to finance its financial obligations due to a shortfall in revenue collection. In the financial year 2021-2022, the control of budget indicates the country allocated 1.17 trillion shillings to repay off its debt that has been compounded more by the interest rates accrued. The control of budget has warned the government to go slow on borrowing and only do so for development expenditure, but at a minimum cost to keep the debt sustainable. During the 2021-2022 financial year, the control of budget report indicates a dip in the development budgetary allocation in contrast to a sharp spike in the recurrent budget. While the development budget was capped at 688.75 billion shillings, the government spent 2.77 trillion shillings on recurrent expenditure. The report attributed the spike on recurrent expenditure to the offsetting of the country's public debt. Samogina Citizen TV, Nairobi.